Hey sis, so this is me, Nia. <laughs> Welcome to my channel, Nia's Perspectives. This is the home buying video series. You likely came here because you have my free home buying guide. If you don't have my free home buying guide, what are you waiting for? It's free. <laughs> If you're looking to purchase a home, if it's your first home and you really don't know anything about the process, well, I'm here to help you take the mystery out the process. The link will be down below. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe on your way to get the link out of there. Drop comments and let me know if this guide has been helpful for you or learned anything, how you like the guide. Send the link to a friend if they're looking to purchase a home. Tell everybody, run, share, like, subscribe, comment, all of that. <laughs> when you hit like and subscribe, that lets YouTube know that you like the content that I'm delivering, that you find it informational and you want to see more like it. It's kind of like you saying thank you for me coming and sharing all these gems and nuggets. So my name is Nia. I am the owner of Perspectives. Perspectives is a financial literacy education company. And what I do is I provide educational resources to teach individuals about money. I have a course. I share so many gems and tips on my Facebook and sometimes Instagram. I really post on Facebook more than I post on Instagram, to be honest. Um, but my goal is to take you from struggling in stress to empowered about your money, okay? I want to help you achieve a life that you love so that you can do more of the things that you love because I figure we get into the hustle and bustle of life and we work so hard, but what are we working so hard for? I mean, I work hard, but I have strategic goals that I'm accomplishing as I work hard. So I want you to be more strategic about your money moves. We want to play chess out here and not checkers. So as I was walking individuals through my own real estate investing journey, I began to get a lot of questions and tractions as I went through the process and I realized a lot of people were not aware of this process. So I wanted to take the mystery out of it. Most people, when they go and they prepare for a home and they say they want to purchase a home, all of them really focus on just getting their credit score to where it needs to be to qualify for the loan. But sis, there is so much more to get better and ready and just have your finances prepared to purchase a home. So that's where this guide comes in. If you don't have the guide, don't forget to get it down in the comments. I'm sorry, in the link in the description. It will be there. And I just came to say, sometimes we get really overwhelmed and we get frustrated with the process. I want to come here to tell you that this is a marathon, okay? This is not a race. You've taken the first step and you are working to create generational wealth for your family. You are working to gain equity. You are going to buy something and own something for yourself, for your family. And it's an important step that you are taking today. And with that being said, take your time, sis. Be patient with yourself. It's okay. You're going to make mistakes along this journey. We all do. We all do. You're going to make mistakes along this journey. You're going to have ups and downs. You're going to have frustrating moments. But guess what? It's worth it. It's for something that you want and you're working towards a goal. Do not forget it. Okay? Do not. And do not forget, we have little ones watching us. Even if you don't have children, we have nieces and nephews that are watching us and seeing us. As a young child, I have an aunt myself I looked up to. She literally was like a second mother to me. And I, Im not imitate, but I emulate a lot of the things that she did. She was really good with her finances, paid things off early, worked second jobs to get it done. And, you know, as I was young, I saw her working hard. But it wasn't until I was grown, I realized she paid her condo off like five, six, probably close to 10 years, actually, earlier than she was supposed to, that it really hit me like, oh, okay, I see you. But unfortunately, that was not until she was no longer with us. So I'm here to tell you, it's worth it. Put the work in. Her daughter has a place and it is... A great feeling, I'm sure. I know that she's not here to see it, but it was a big lesson for me because it allowed her to not have to worry about what would happen to her child when she was no longer here because she provided that. And that, I feel like, as a parent, is a big goal of all of ours. So 
just be mindful that the reasons why, if you ever question or wonder as you go through this process and you're learning how to budget, it's not going to be easy. I'm not here to tell you it's going to be easy. You're going to get rich tomorrow and you're going to just go buy the big dream house. Let's be, we're being realistic and being realistic, you want to buy a house that you can afford. And a lot of times I see us get trapped and we make bad decisions and we foreclose and within two years of purchasing our house and no foreclosure not cute you're gonna hear me say it a couple of times so sit back enjoy this video guide get your notebook take notes all of the above because the first important thing that you need to do is make that mind shift once you make that mindset shift the rest is history sis start to think about your purchases differently think about your money moves differently even when it comes to paying down debt pay it down strategically what would be the best for you? What does that bill that would make your money situation better would allow you to do more? That's what you want to focus on first. Forget snowball, avalanche, all the different debt repayment methods. You want to work strategically with your money. Not just because you saw somebody else do it because there is no such thing as cookie cutter solutions. I teach my students that all the time. You have to work what's best for you, your goals, your finances, finances and your situation so the first thing you want to do is start to think why do you want a home how much does a home cost set up alerts in your area so that you can start to get set up alerts in your area that you will want to live in that you think you want to live in now and start to get an idea of what those prices look like how much are those homes use mortgage calculators online and find out you want to talk to a lender so that they can see if you're qualified. And if you're not qualified, you need to find out what you need to do to get qualified. So that you have a game plan as you go through this journey of preparing your finances of what you need to do. So as you're doing that, start to look and see what the cost of these different homes are. When you get that information for your lender, you can get an idea of your interest rate. Use that interest rate to do mortgage calculators and to find out what your mortgage payment would be. Most of the real estate websites have a mortgage calculator that's right there on the website. So this gives you an idea. You start to think about the financial aspects of the house, not just the island and it got two bathrooms and an attached garage. You want to make sure that you're comfortably living in the house so that you can stay in the house. So again, I'm Nia. I am your chief learning officer. Um... I provide several resources to help you get your finances in order. I even have a home buyer success kit. Now this kit comes with a pre-approval checklist so you can gather your documents to be prepared for the lender. This comes with a 10 minute budget workbook for those of you who are not familiar with how to budget. I go through it in a 10 minute step, really just simple because that's what I like to do. I like to break things down in simple terms. Then you're gonna have my budget savvy planner that planner has debt repayment trackers savings trackers it is a digital planner so that you can plan digitally and it is pdf fillable then it's also going to include oh i have an excel budget spreadsheet that has formulas that you can plug in your bills all of your bills and it will do the calculations for you and all the formulas transfer from sheet to sheet Okay, so get your bundle and it comes with a bonus training. This will come with a bonus training. Now this bonus training, I don't know yet. I'm going to film it this week. I think it's going to be 60 minutes, but I might start talking so much <laughs> that it might end up being 90 minutes. But I promise you it's going to be filled with nothing but gems because the reality is we need this information we want this information we make constant mistakes and buying a home is a very big purchase it's a very big decision and sometimes the process can get overwhelming so i want to pump out as much information as i can get to you if that makes you be a more educated buyer and that can make your process much easier then that's what i'm going to do because i love to teach about finances i could talk about finances all day retirement plans, saving, budgeting, all of it. I love it. 
it's my life. So I want to teach you and help you because my goal is to help us get more property, create, if that's what we want to do, I want to help us get more property and be more educated when we're purchasing property and lower that foreclosure rate. I want to increase the home ownership rate, but I want to help lower the foreclosure rate. So thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoy my home buying guide. This is Nia. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. I promise you it won't cost you a penny.